everyone. This is Regnant from the Silver Fang Network. Uh, it's been a while since our last merch video, um, but I finally had some time again, and one of the videos I've been wanting to do for a while is covering every different plush type that's available at the moment of um, the Ginga characters. Um, Weed has had the most different versions available, so... That's why he's the focus, and here is a big pile of weeds. Um, of course, the most common that you've probably seen are the chibi Japanese ones, which were the first plushes released. Um, so they all kind of look the same, um, but there are actually three different versions of the small plush. Uh, the most common being, whoop, get them out of here, from the DVD release. Um, and you can see that he has a DVD tag attached to his back leg. Um, he has embroidered toes and a normal tail. The regular drawn version um, of this plush, which about half of the um, plushies have, um, this version is, has, a uh, drawn toes on instead of embroidered. And the regular tag and normal tail. The embroidered version, which is the, um, rarest and hardest to find, has embroidered toes and also has a cute little curly tail. The tag looks pretty similar. There's a minor um, difference on the back of it um, of drawn versus embroidered. Um, just one little letter that's different. Uh, but otherwise, the tags are the exact same. Now, there were large versions of these plushies as well. Let me move some of these out of the way. So this is the large weed. Um, the tag is an oval, and otherwise he looks the exact same. Um, he has a normal tail. He looks the exact same as the DVD version, which is much more common to run into. Um, again, sort of same feet, same tail, but DVD tag along with a extra little butt tag. Um, I will warn people to be wary of buying um, if you're looking for this version of the plush, uh, be wary because some people will cut off this tag and try to pass it off as the big version. So I would say avoid buying without that oval tag. Um, there are some slight differences, but it's hard to tell in photos, um, uh, next here I have the pure plastic weed plush, which is super soft. He's super cute. Um, of course has a regular weed tag on there. Um, there are some new pure plastic plushies coming out um, pretty soon. Uh, however, we have no details yet on if they will be different or how similar they will be to this current line of plushies, which we'll just have to see. Um, we've already had Akame and Ricky confirmed. And last but not least, um, is this guy, which has been called Promo Weed, but he actually was released after, um, all the other Japanese plushies, um, He's got this oval tag that's celebrating um, a certain number of copies of the manga sold. He has this weird sort of sloped back, um, but he is very fuzzy and very soft and very sturdy. Uh, he's got plastic eyes instead of embroidered like all the others and a full plastic nose. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or 
anything like that, feel free to ask on the Silver Fang Network. Uh, we're here to help, especially if you're concerned about which version of the plush you're buying, um, prices of one versus the other, as their value does vary a lot based off of if you have the drawn version, the embroidered version, the DVD version, um, one of these rare plushies, or of course the uh, pure plastic ones.